Hi everyone, it's Sue. Welcome back. Hope you're all doing really well. So today, oh, I really don't know what I'm doing. I'm just going to have a play, um, probably get a bit messy. I've got my laminator going. So um, in a recent Friday night um, live stream, um, one of my lovely subbies wanted to know how I did these charms that I had done on some tags. And basically it's just cut the the labels out whatever you want to use i've got so many different ones and um add a brad you can add a hole in a brad first or you can do it after it does tend to crack sometimes though if you put the brad the hole in the brad in after um, and i just do it with this mod podge um dimensional magic put a layer if it's not i've only got a thin layer and i've only done one i don't want it ultra thick um, I just did one layer. Once it's dry, you can do another layer and you can do all sorts of things. So I've sort of done, <clears throat> excuse me, you know, labels of all different types. Um, I have got some of these lovely, um, the summer label kit from Clear Black Creations. I've cut out and I've done them as well. Um, just to give you an idea so that's here's another one just a plain label so they're beautiful to hang from um, your tags or pages ruffles that sort of thing so I was showing um, the ladies how I did those very very easy and then one of the other subbies said well how would you could you do it with laminating um, so laminating a sheet of your labels first and then you know if you don't have mod podge or whatever so we tried it and and I loved it and then I got to the point well oh I actually I've got these done but now they're white on the back I should have maybe used coffee dyed paper on the back of them like this or inked them or something so they weren't white on the back so then we got into well why don't we add alcohol inks and do that sort of thing so basically I'm going to replicate what I did there because I absolutely love how they turned out I have no idea how to use alcohol inks I mainly use mine for um, discoloring paper clips that sort of thing so <laughs> don't um, don't tell me I'm doing well you can tell me I'm doing it wrong and give me hints of course but as I'm just as a preface to this I have no idea what I'm doing or how to use them properly so um, yes you'll probably cringe so what I'm doing is I'm just gonna grab a couple of um, labels or something that I've cut out just to show you um, what I did on Friday night and then I just it it sort of started me thinking about a few other ideas um, <clears throat> and what we could probably do with them. So I'm just using these little, I think they're about three by four. So they're three, three and a half by two and a half sheets. Um, I did get these off eBay. If I can find where I got them from, I'll put the link down below. Sorry if I can't though, because it was a while ago. Um, but you can do this in bigger sheets if you like. This is just easier for me to handle than putting all the smaller labels in in a big sheet. So we'll just do the three. <clears throat> and I'm just gonna feed that through. I'm actually gonna move this one away a bit. Because <coughs> we wanna cut around them and leave enough space so that the lamination doesn't split open. So I'll just feed that through. So there, we've just laminated that. And as you can see, we've got white on the back. It doesn't matter, you can leave it like that. But this is how all this happens. So um, what we then decided was, just actually need to let that cool down a bit. Well, what if we colored the back with um, some alcohol inks, which I will do in a minute. Um, while that cools, I'm also going to have a little bit of a play with some acetate and then some die cuts. Um, that's just where my mind sort of started heading with regards to, you know, once I'd done these. So I thought today's mainly just let's have a play together and just see what what ends up happening. So you'll need some gloves. It's a good idea. And I've actually got a, 
a um, apron on as well today <laughs> so I don't want to get alcohol ink all over my clothes and I'm just going to use some browns and and reds really I mean you could use any color you like but I want to try and make it look a little bit older I've got this puffy thing that I used to have when I um, had some alcohol ink pens I used to put the pens in here and the tip here and you used to be able to spray so I'm using that I've got some blending solution and I'm going to use sangria caramel and ginger okay now you can cut these labels out and ink each one individually I just found in the end I did that to start off with um, it was easy, easier just to do the whole the whole sheet okay so um, through the live a couple of people said to me put the blending solution down first and then add the ink so we'll try that we'll try that and see what happens so I'm gonna put the lighter color down first And you can pick it up and move it or use the this thing whatever you call that <laughs> and just move it around just make sure you've got something to protect your table surface as well and this is probably going to go on the front there a bit because it's seeped under that's okay I don't mind that so we can also go like this wipe it off our our surface there and I'm just going to grab some wipes just wipe that excess up um, and I'm going to now I don't know I think if I add the the color first and then the blending works better for me as I said, if you've got any hints, I'm open to hearing about them because I have absolutely no idea what I'm doing. And so if you've got too much on there, you can just add the blending solution just to um, like thin it out a little bit. I'm going to add some more to this top on here because I'm not happy with the way that it's looking. But, um, you know, we can blow some of this up. What I'm trying to do is just cover the white on the back of these pieces. If it doesn't fully cover, that's okay. I'm all right with that. Okay guys, so it looks like a real mess. Looks like a real mess, but bear with me. I'm gonna pop that aside just to dry. It really doesn't take that long to dry. So I'm just gonna pop this over here out of the way. And we might do a little bit on, um, might do a little bit on a sheet of acetate while that's drying. 
So same thing, um, just the same, pretty much the same thing as what I did there. I'm just gonna do on a bigger surface. So I'm just gonna move them out of the way. Let's grab a, big, a piece of A4 acetate. And so this is gonna be a little bit hard to see because of the, it just blends in with the background here, but <clears throat> I don't know, let's just see what happens. I'm just going to randomly put some blending solution in one area and add a couple of different colors and we'll just see what happens. Okay guys, that's just, I've just fiddled around and <clears throat> put down some ink and played around. There's spots where there's no ink, that's okay. Um, you'll see what I what what is in my head in a minute. <laughs> so I just, if I can lift this up, I'm going to pop that one aside to dry <clears throat> now. If I can pop it somewhere where it's not gonna fall. Um, now, do I need to keep these on? I'm just thinking. So this is pretty much dry. So that's our <laughs> very messy labels. <clears throat> um, so I don't need these on at the moment. And that's why you wear gloves. So then what I did was I just cut these out, basically. And I loved it how the photo turned out. Um, so it made it look really aged. around the edge. So that's the photo. Just gives it a different, um, different look, doesn't it? I love it, I love how it looks. And then that's the back, it's really old and grungy. Uh, and then you can use that as a swinging tag. There is one here that I did as well. So I've got an eyelet in that one and I'll add that to a tag, a larger tag. Um, so yeah, I, I love how they look. They're just like a, you know, like a sepia edging. So the photos look amazing done like that. And then the tags, so actually this isn't quite dry. That's why I'm getting ink all over me. So you need to be patient. 
unlike myself um, and let that dry so you get the idea so that's one way with using laminated sheets and um, and some alcohol inks so lots of fun so I'll just pop that aside too just in case the back of that's not fully dry um, like here's another label that I cut out so those labels will look like that pretty much once they're cut out and an eyelet put in so just something really different so then I was thinking um, I just don't think this is dry yet let me just have another look no not quite dry okay so then I was thinking well like I've got this slide die in the shop it is a sampool sampool craft die it's um, the vintage slide and it comes with this beautiful slide here and it has this um, film strip is that what you call it film strip yes <laughs> so I was thinking what if I was to add I don't know I'm thinking here thinking out aloud I wanted to cut the out the back piece out as well <clears throat> to find so basically I want to cut this piece here out and I want to add something in here but then I was thinking I could laminate that and then add alcohol inks to that what do you think maybe stamp the front of this with um, a number or something um, let me just grab a stamp so I've just grabbed Sam's um, dates from the past number one stamp and I've got stuff everywhere here and this is her dates from the past part two now I have had this and it's sold out um, I will get it back in once the supplier has it back in stock so keep an eye out for that so I'm just thinking I'll use one of these just to stamp something on the front here I'm going to just decorate it a little bit and then I'll laminate it and then add some alcohol inks to it and see see what happens so I'll probably just speed the camera up with regards to that if there are any questions afterwards certainly please leave them in the comments and I'll um, try and answer them for you but I just thought I'll have a little bit of a play and um, we'll see what happens in the end Okay, so something else that I thought of um, was I measured approximately um, the inside of this. Obviously not very well. <laughs> some, some of the images look better than others, but basically I thought if I work out, do a text box, um, approximate size of this here, and then put images in there. I can use these in these slides. So that was my way of thinking. Some of the images I might have to go back and rethink, but I mean, that looks beautiful. I mean, that we could do, get away with that. How stunning does that look? So um, so, there's, so these are all images from the Graphics Ferry as well. I'm on their premium membership. Um, so they have so many beautiful images that you can get. I think we're gonna use this one today. So I printed this one out twice for the reason that I'm just gonna do it on the reverse as well. 
just so that it um, looks like it's the same image, if you know what I mean. So I'm roughly just going to cut those two images out. And I'll, I will actually just cut it on the black lines because um, I knew that the text box would be hidden behind. Give me enough room to glue them down is what I'm trying to say. Now I've printed this out on, I think it's about 180 GSM card. You probably could even do it on just your standard copy paper. I think you don't really need the extra thickness. Uh, I wasn't thinking when I printed them out, but it's just gonna add a little bit of bulk to that, but that doesn't matter. I mean, look at that. That looks lovely as it is. And then you've got the reverse on the other side. So I'm just going to glue that, glue those two pieces together and then glue them inside this slide. So I have put the images in um, to the slide. And I think that looks really lovely just as it is. Um, you could just use it like that. So, but I'm just thinking of using the alcohol inks. And yes, now I'm going to use a whole, just for the sake of the video and time, I'm just going to use a whole sheet of a4 laminate for one little slide. I know it's a bit of a waste, but I will use the laminated piece as acetate anyway, but this is just too big for this size sleeve that I've got there. So I'm going to laminate the slide and then we'll, um, you know, we'll either cut it out or we will use the alcohol ink first. I mean, I could do I've got these pieces here that were in the, um, that comes in the, the die set as well. So I might even just do those, laminate those, and then we can put some alcohol ink on those just so that we're not wasting a whole piece. So I'll put them through. So I have inked around, um, added the ink around that. It looks really messy. And I don't know whether it's exactly what I had in my head, but we're going to run with it. I need that to dry though. So I'm going to go back to the piece of acetate that I put ink on. So it is all dry now. And I just thought, um, I've got this, hang on a sec. <laughs> I've got this film strip die from Uniquely Creative. It's actually in my shop. I'll put the link down below. So that's what it looks like um, cut out. So I wondered whether that might even look like a bit of fun to do with that. So I'm going to cut that out um, on my big shot. So I've cut them out. It hasn't, I don't think, cut the film strip out fully, but I mean, look at these yummy little pieces that you could even use as little um, dangly bits. I love it with the, the rose gold through that. So those will definitely be used as um, just little dangles. You could put a little miniature label or something on those. So I'm going to pop them in there for my um, dangly charms uh, so that I can put some eyelets in there. Now I'm going to have to use look at that. Beautiful. I think I'm going to have to use my um, craft knife to get this out, which is going to be interesting because you can hardly even see the piece. So just bear with me while I do that. So I absolutely mangled the other one. I get too rough and I tore it. So we will just have to, I'll try and salvage that. I'll probably be able to um, cut it and use just two of it but this is just to give you an idea um, of what it looks like um, it's hard to show you 
um, and you could put this on top of some images and you've got a really lovely um, film strip tag um, I don't know same thing I don't think it turned out exactly how I had it in my head <laughs> I'm probably more excited about these little pieces here uh, and how they they turned out I mean we could even just glue them back in and have them like that I still think that I could use it I'm quite happy with it but it just needs a little bit of tweaking I think so that's what today was all about though was just having a little bit of a play and and seeing what we can make using alcohol inks acetate that sort of thing all right so that's that one and then hopefully this one is dry so I wanted to I think I wanted to add some dribbles coming over the back of this slide as well so I'll do that as well and then come back when that's all dry okay guys so I have done um, cut them out now as I said I absolutely love these how the photos and that have turned out they're really grungy and then I cut out those little tags that we did as well so they turned out all beautifully really really happy with those so I will put um, eyelets in those and use them as dangles on bigger tags larger tags I love the inserts of I probably could have actually held them up on the white for you let me do that no, no, this is just to give you a little bit of an idea um, what they would look like once they're all done it's really nice and then you've got color on the back as well these are the inserts out of the film strip that I cut so I can see them printing off some really mini little tags and adding them and adding them with a um, hole to a, as a dangle on a tag or a journaling card is what I'm trying to say <laughs> on the edge of a page um, so I love how those turned out um, so I showed you the film strip earlier. So I did, while I was waiting for the other one to dry, I did actually attach it to some coffee dyed paper, coffee dyed card actually, and I think I like it so much better. There's room for improvement, I know that, and um, it's been fun just playing and just seeing what, you know, what you can, can do with it. So, I mean, the alcohol inks have been sitting on my shelf for months and months and months. So I've got them out and I've started playing and you can see from my hands, please make sure you put your gloves back on. <laughs> Mine weren't quite dry and I've stuck my fingers in them. So that's gonna be a bit hard to get off. I'll probably just get some alcohol and um, it might come off. But yeah, I think that looks so much better. That's, you know, got so much more potential now than just the, the clear strip. Uh, so that's that one. And these are the other little bits um, that came in this die set. So the one at the top. Uh, yeah, not, I don't know. I didn't even really think too much about that. I just put some excess over that. I, I'll still use that. Um, but I may go back and, and play a little bit more with um, with the alcohol ink. So there's that one and, and that one. So that's those. And this isn't how I thought it would turn out either but I still love it I think it's quite nice um, maybe I'm a little bit heavy-handed I think with the alcohol ink I think that'll all come with practice and um, trial and error and that's the back of it so I probably like the back of it a little bit better because it's not as the colors not as thick um, but just a lovely, lovely little idea on how to use those slides. See how there's an indent here. You could even fussy cut into there. I didn't worry about it. I did curl, um, curl. I did curve my corners just because the edges were quite sharp with that lamination. But yeah, just a little bit of a play today. Um, see what I could come up with. I've enjoyed it. I hope you've enjoyed it and I hope it gives you a little bit of inspiration moving forward um, with some little bits and pieces that you can use. So acetate, laminate sheets, um, dimensional magic and then to glue this to the coffee dye paper I just used some of this dimensional magic as glue and it glued down really lovely. So that's it. 
how to play and probably in true um, Corey Darman style as well. Um, the lovely Corey Darman. All these little bits of offcuts and that I'm going to keep. I'm going to put them in a little bag and they can probably even be used somewhere as a little, I don't know, little bits in collage and that type of thing. So lots of fun there. Hope you enjoyed that. Let me know in the comments what you think. Um, have you tried alcohol inks? What am I doing wrong? What can I do better? Um, I'm happy to hear from you. So <laughs> I'll leave it there and um, I hope you all keep really well. And until next time, I hope you get a little bit of creative time in. See you soon. Bye-bye.